Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good afternoon even, depending where in the world you are. It's wake up call again and I'm back. I'm like a number 47 bus, you don't see me at all and then I turn up all the time. I'm really excited about today's wake up call. We've got some fantastic things coming up for you. Um, really exciting and of course wake up calls all about what the day holds, what you can expect from Crafters TV for the rest of our programme day. We've got fantastic products coming up at 3pm today and a launch day and we've also got our Sharon Callis um, is going to be here in person well in person on video you know by link she's going to be demonstrating for you and then at seven o'clock tonight we've got a cart load on a Tuesday instead of a Thursday because our Sarah well she's a little bit busy doing some dancey things at the minute and so she's going to be joining us at 7 p.m with some phenomenal deals I'm really excited about it Ben aren't you Absolutely, I am back, refreshed and revivified, ready to go uh, for another four days here at Crafters TV. It is our sweet 16th birthday, of course, and uh, if you have been enjoying all of the shows over the course of the last, what, ooh, nine days or so, you'll know exactly what's going on, but it's double points still right across all of the shows uh, up until the end of play on Sunday, 24th of October, the final day of our sweet 16th birthday. Uh, so make sure you take advantage of that. If you're not yet one of our Club Inspire members, this is the perfect time time to join uh, and make your way um, up that club ladder to save even more. Also during this event we're giving you free UK delivery as well. I know so many of you have been commenting about that and loving that so take advantage. It's a great time to fill up those baskets, a great time to take advantage and maybe get hold of those core tools that you never want to run out of. Talking about your core tools, um, we have got loads of great three for two deals on our website as well. So whether it's adhesives you're after, whether it's cardstock, whether you're quite new to crafting and you want to build up uh, your crafty armory as far as tools are concerned you will find a really great selection of three for twos on our website as well also over the course of the shows you'll know this by now we are giving away prizes whoop, whoop. all you got to do during the shows is comment as you normally do whether you're watching us on facebook or youtube you can simply get in touch say hello ask a question whatever it might be make an observation everyone who comments will go into the draw during the show we've got two winners during each show if you're picked out as one of our winners during the show you'll win yourself an on-the-spot prize Woo! and you'll also uh, go through to our grand final on Sunday, the last day of our sweet 16th birthday, to stand the chance of winning this week's grand prize. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. What is that I spy there? Well, that looks like a rather large machine to me, Ben. Is that, that's the, are we giving away a pro? <laughs> Are you joking me? Well, there you go. Someone is going to win a Gemini Pro this Sunday on our wrap-up show. Um, so plenty of reasons to shop. And if those weren't reasons enough, uh, don't forget, we're adding free goodies into your shopping basket as well. So if you spend £10 or $10 uh, today, we're giving you a, a beautiful corner die, which I'll show you in more detail a little bit later on. £50, you'll get that die, plus that Crafters Purple Tri-Blend Brush Pen and if you spend £100, $100, we also add in uh, that really cool uh, craft tool bag as well. So lots of reasons to get shopping, lots of reasons to get involved and lots of reasons to jump in during Wake Up Call. This is our preview show. It's our sneaky peek show so you can grab those bargains before everybody wakes up across the world. Like the old saying goes, you snooze, you lose. And there's lots of reasons that you'll be wanting to buy in today because wait till you see what we've got up our sleeves. Um, so many great great uh, products at Alien, haven't we? Oh, I'm really excited about it, Ben. We've had, we, you know, we always save our best stuff for October for birthday week, don't we? And it's by no exception, I think, this birthday as well. The launch that we've got today of this fabulous new heartfelt greetings collection from Sharon Callis is absolutely stunning. It's all about creating a concept card communicating a heartfelt greeting and then decorating it with some accessory imagery to really make them stand out. I've not actually seen a concept card do this before so it's very unique, very fresh, very new um, to the card making arena and I think really adds just something special especially if you struggle 
If you struggle communicating a message or sometimes you don't quite know how to put a card concept together or you don't know how to put that major sentiment on there and how to decorate around it, this set will do all of that for you really quickly and easily. Beautiful sentiments, fabulous imagery and you're saving 25% as well on this. For $44.97 and $50.85 it really is a steal to get those four statement size dies and you'll see what I mean by a statement when we come to demo them, demo them later on in the show. I really love this collection and it's going to be something that you have as a go-to. It's going to become part of your reliable stash that you can use year in, year out. There's nothing trendy or of the minute about these. This is a lovely, reliable collection with longevity. Mm. The next collection that we've got for you is um, out of our cartload today with Sarah. And it's our chinoiserie collection. Now, I absolutely love this when it launched. I thought it was one of the most beautiful things that we have done. And it really does have that wonderful oriental garden feel about it, which is, in fact, what chinoiserie means, if you didn't know. Um, so for £30 and $37, and if you're a platinum member, £24 and 2960 it's fantastic value for money. You're getting an awful lot of bang for your buck there, if you like. <laughs> Some really great sized dyes folders concept beautiful stamps um, really lovely to get that oriental look and feel um, in your card making and will work for example this beautiful frame will work with a chinoiserie collection or will in fact work on its own just as a beautiful ornate frame on many of the other things that you're working on um, and so we'll have a little look at that in more detail as well during the course of wake up call and you'll be able to get that fantastic day long cart load but if you're worried it'll go so what else is I did a cart load um, last week didn't we Ben we did. And we had a number of sellouts. We did. Um, so I would say, if you really love this and you want it, get it now. It's on the website. The deal's available there for you. And then when you've got the show with Sarah and Ben later today, you can sit back and relax in the smug knowledge that you've <laughs> already got it on the way and you can just watch the demos and enjoy. Uh, it's a really good value for money deal. Then we've got... Um, these fabulous, uh, this concept I adore, and it's about a statement words, so shaped word dies. So this is about making a card in the shape of the word. Um, and then you've got a stencil to make the card base. You've got some um, different things to put sentiments on there and put texture on there as well with the embossing folders. So much you can do with this. It's a fabulous collection. There you're looking at the embossing folders and the sentiments from a different collection. The actual dies themselves are what you've seen at the beginning and we'll have a look at those when we come back live. So you can see that top row is what you're really interested in. On that top row where you can see love, happy, thanks, friend, hello, that is the shape of card you're going to be able to cut with this particular die set and stencil set. And they really Really do look fabulous when they're done and again something that's a statement that can last in your stash for a long time they're not going to go in and out of fashion you're going to be able to come back to them time and time again so this is really about building up your essentials building up your go-to's having those reliable items in your craft stash that you can just go to in a flash and do something beautiful but really quick and easy uh, that's also a fantastic deal and phenomenal for 52 pounds and 61 dollars and if you're platinum 41.60 and 48.80 fantastic fantastic value for money so definitely time to grab that deal for all, I mean all of that for that price that's yeah. one two three four five huge concept dies then all of the embossing folders yeah. and the stamp set phenomenal value for money yeah, absolutely right. And actually, um, if you do join us for Cartload later on, which I know you will, you are going to see more best price yet deals. Those two uh, previous items there that Leanne just showed you as well, best price we've ever done them for. So plenty of reasons, like Leanne says, jump in now, grab the deals, and then you can sit there and watch the chaos ensue later on when we're shouting 60, 70, 80% limited stock go. You can sit there and go, ha ha, I got mine earlier. Uh, but loads of you already commenting, saying hello. Who has joined the party today? Well, I can tell you uh, the likes of uh, Patty's in from Michigan. Hello, Patty. Alison is in from a Thundery Ammonford. Kristin's in from Carlisle. Uh, and Thea is in from the Netherlands. Lovely to have you all with us right across the globe. Uh, Lisa's in from Minnesota. Georgianne says hello, Leanne and Ben from Clearwater. 
Clearwater, Florida. Uh, James says, good morning, one and all. Hello, James. Dragon Mum's in from Texas. Kaz is in. Cheryl Kay's in. Allison's in from Scotland. Shelley's in from Florida. And Stephanie says, good morning from Virginia. Lots of chat coming in. We'll read more of your messages and lots of you very excited as well about the possibility of maybe bagging yourself that Gemini Pro at the end of the week in our grand prize draw. Loads more to come though before all of that. And if you weren't with us yesterday, you will not be aware that we have launched a brand new Get It, Got It Good. These deals, of course, uh, only live for a week or while stocks last. And actually, uh, this is your Centura Pearl 100 sheet collection. No, I like it. it is your luxury car, it's ultimate collection. Get it right, Ben. Uh, this deal that you've got here is slightly better than the uh, three for two that we've got on the website. You're gonna get your um, purple, red, green, gold, silver, and ice blue colors uh, with a selection, as you can see, of the different styles in the mirror and the matte mirror in there as well. Uh, and that price is applicable uh, for the whole of this week or whilst stocks last um, as I mentioned last week quite a few of our get it got it goods tend to sell out quite early so if that tickles your fancy uh, make sure you jump in nice and quick uh, Stephanie's in this morning saying I received the goodies I ordered last week and boy am I excited I'd forgotten what I'd ordered uh, and like to look at my order not to look at my order to surprise myself uh, and Janice says I just love these shows they are so inspiring thank you crafters companion uh, Shelley says I received my first order yesterday it had all the party bags and lucky dips Incredible. And Alison says, I love when Leanne is on. She started me on my tri-blend coloring journey. I also love uh, when Leanne's on as well. And I, I feel lucky that I've managed to catch up with her. Is this the third show I think we've done in the space of the last week, isn't it? It is, absolutely. I feel as though, um, I feel like it's a real treat, actually, yeah. Ben. Because I don't get to see you that often, do I? We, I mean, we're in the same building practically every day you're in, but we're in different, different areas, aren't we? So it's really lovely to catch up. Yeah, I've it is. And it. you're obviously busy, super busy and I just feel the days in it I, I always have a mind to go into your sort of area of the business and say hello to everyone and have a little walk around but it, for one, one reason or another it never really happens so it is lovely to catch up um, and by the way a few of you asking I, I will tell you um, uh, a few of you asked did I go and visit Craig yesterday because I chatted about it we were supposed to go to the cinema yesterday uh, we didn't however because he's not he's not quite feeling up to it yet but the good news is he is on the mend um, and he's asked me to thank you for all the messages that you sent him his mum's with him now um, as well uh, at his house just up, the, just up the road so she's with him um, he is on the mend and hopefully he'll be back with us very soon but he, he does uh, want to say that he appreciates all the messages uh, that you've been sending to him over the last few days right we are almost ready to go Christine says I love this show you guys are so enjoyable um, and Hadassah getting very excited uh, for the Sharon Callis collection there is lots to get excited about over the course of the day today as we've chatted about brand new collections best price yet and uh, we're finishing off of course with that big three hour cut Load seven o'clock tonight, uh, two o'clock on the east coast. I'm smiling because I know that Sarah will want to come in and claim that she had the best cart load over the Leanne cart load that we had uh, last Thursday. So if you thought the deals were great then, you know that Sarah uh, will have pulled a uh, a few little surprises for you because there's always a bit of friendly competition going on, Leanne, isn't there? Uh, Sarah and I always have all the friendly competition <laughs> going on, Ben. We um. We, we say it's friendly, but we take it really seriously. Yeah. No, we don't. It's friendly competition. <laughs> we always want to get one up on each other all the time. So I've absolutely no doubt you'll have watched and gone, I can do better than that. Um, so definitely be tuning in and take advantage of our internal competitiveness. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we are all ready to go, I think. And uh, we're going to get cracking with some of the, uh, the demos and have a look at some of these um, projects that we've got coming up for you and products over the course uh, of the uh, day today. I'm uh, going to kick off with a heartfelt greeting collection really love this and it's going to be great actually to catch up with Sharon Callis a little bit later on she'll be joining us like Leanne says uh, via the wonders of modern technology uh, but it's a lovely collection um, allowing you to um, yeah create real sort of um, heartfelt cards if you struggle to find the words um, if you are someone uh, perhaps who you know, doesn't quite know what to say this collection is absolutely brilliant for uh, doing that Brand new today here on Crafters TV, £44.97 or $50.85 is going to be the deal. Uh, but remember, if you're a Platinum member, it comes down to $35.98 or $40.68. But you're not penalised as far as the points are concerned there because you're going to get double points, even though that you've got that fantastic, uh, fantastic um, saving. Lots of chat as well coming in, by the way, about the Shinwazari collection. Uh, Julie Barlow says the collection is one of my favourites. 
favourites. Uh, Lacchietta says, what? Look at the cartload price of the Shinwazri collection. I'll just tell you, whilst we're just getting ready, the Shinwazri collection it is the uh, best price yet that we've done it for. It is actually a 60% saving on that one. And if you like the look of the Shape Word die collection too, that one is a best price yet, save 55%. So unbelievable deals to be had. Uh, week two of our sweet 16th birthday promises to be just as good as the uh, the first week and the deals that you're seeing are amazing. Uh, Cheryl's up saying good morning Leanne and Ben 4am here in Arizona and Kaz is saying the shape words are great. Uh, you made a thank you card recently with the thanks. All right we are ready to go. I know you're all very excited to have a look at the uh, Heartfelt um, Creations collection. Heartfelt greetings, 12 elements in total. Uh, Leanne's got some finished samples to, um, to have a look at. Something a little bit different with this collection. I like kind of how the sentiment almost sort of, sort of hangs in the center of that sort of bowed card front. It's a very clever concept, Leanne, isn't it? It's a really clever concept, Ben, and it's very different to anything I've seen before. You're quite right. That sentiment is almost suspended in midair. And yeah. of course, it's just attached a little bit with those two uh, fabulous, or maybe three or four, with the fabulous images that Sharon has included for you. Um, and really does mean that you've got lots of possibility when it comes to uh, concepts and being able to really display your projects differently and try some different ways of using them. You're seeing there on that little video um, that we had a look before when we were uh, talking about them, how gorgeous they are. Now you can see these in person. So you can see how fabulous these are and how you can do your dimensional cards. But as you said, Ben, quite rightly, that sentiment looks like it's hanging it's in really midair clever. and it's how cleverly they've been designed. So you can see there the beautiful happy birthday. We've got the thank you there with the roses and a very different concept card. You can use them in a box lid if you want to um, and then put some acetate behind for a little bit of strength. My personal favourite um, with anything like this is always a dome fronted mm. card. I really do love them. This is lovely, a bit different where you finish the dome early where it's not the full card. I think that's really lovely too. And the designs themselves just lend, just lend themselves to being used in so many different ways. So you can see with this one, we've got an easel card. But the easels, well, almost like an easel tent card, but then we've used acetate behind, so you've still got that sentiment, feeling like it's floating, but you can see through the window. Um, use your patterned papers if you want to, so you can go to town with them, so you can see they were thinking of you. Um, and then, of course, with the thank you as well, use all of your scrapbook papers that you might have behind there. I'm having a little look through my box because, oh, 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 this one. Oh, oh, this one. Oh, 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 this one. <laughs> look, you can even do <gasps> your pop-outs. That's really clever. Now, how, oh, go the right way, Leanne. How absolutely beautiful is that with your pretty papers and then you've got that thinking of you in the centre of a pop-out card there. And I'm sure our Sharon is going to show you many of these different concepts uh, when she joins you later today. This one isn't using it as the concept, so it's folded. It's just using it as a beautiful topper and a larger card. But I think is absolutely mm -hmm. gorgeous. And you can see by cutting it out in white and black and doing that little drop shadow by just moving the black card to the side a little bit really makes that stand out, doesn't it? And it's a very elegant, elegant card. So there's a lot you can do with these, Ben. Lots and lots. And um, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping I get to join in and watch our Sharon from my hotel room tonight. Hotel room? Hotel room, Ben. Hotel room? Off anywhere nice? I mean, you know, I'd like to tell you I was off to like, Rome well, or... Monaco or something. Monaco, uh, yeah, you know, Barcelona. Paris, Gay Paris, oh, wee, Barcelona. Wee, 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 wee Barcelona. Yeah. Um, but no, I'm off to create and craft. Oh, so Peterborough. Pe Peterborough. Yeah. I mean, it's not quite Paris, is it? Not quite not... Gay Paris, no, Ben. Um, but... And I'm going to be in the Premier Inn. So. Ah, so it's not quite the uh, the Ritz, either. It's not quite the. Yeah, you know, it's so, not quite the metropolis, but, no. but it means I get to spend a whole day on Create and Craft tomorrow with gorgeous new launches as well. So I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Just a shame the studios aren't in Barcelona. 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 Um, <laughs> lots of lovely comments coming through as so you get ready to have a look at this in action. Uh, Gemma just saying some amazing steals on today. Uh, Christine Mahoney. Hi, Christine. Uh, I have about eight orders coming today. Most of it is paper. Yeah, let us know if you've uh, received your orders, if you've got orders coming today. I've loved, by the way, on the socials over the course of the last few days, all of the pictures that you guys have put up of your delivery guys. Some who look very pleased uh, to be delivering their parcels to you. Some not so much. 
much. Uh, <laughs> and Sarah just saying, hello from Cheshire. I've had an email today to say my first order of last week is on its way. Yay, I can't wait. Well, I have a feeling after today there'll be more orders coming um, because you're not going to be able to resist some of these deals, I'm sure. So let's have a look at our uh, heartfelt greetings collection um, in action. Which one are you going to be using, Liam? So we're going to be having a look at, I think we're going to do thinking of you oh, okay um because i think we can make this and we can be thinking because i'm sure he's watching we can be thinking of our craig when yes. we make this and sending him all of our love and best wishes to get well very very quickly we yes. can't wait to see him so we're going to do the thinking of you now i've got all of my plates etc ready um, and i'm just going to talk you through how you'll put this together now i'm going to show you how to do a dome fronted card because they are my favorite as you will know i've been doing them for you ever since we did beatrix potter you know ben so I think we launched Beatrix Potter 12 years ago. Wow. Um, and I made a dome front card for the first time with that collection. And they've been something that I've made time and time and time and time again ever since because I just love them. So I thought, let's have a look at how to do that. So I've got the die. Now, when you get your die and stamp collection home, you'll see you've got the die, the main concept, thinking of you. And then you've got your two little florals, in this case, daffodils, that will fit into these spaces you can see here. Um, and allow you to make that really lovely mm. uh, daffodil arrangement around the thinking of you sentiment that you can see there. So we're going to start with the front of the card. Now I've taken a piece of A4, so I'm going to give you general measurements because if you're in the USA or the UK, you, you're going to do the same thing just with a different size piece of card. So I've trimmed this, if you're in the UK, to five and three quarters. If you're in the USA, five and a half and made a square card, either five and a half inches square or five and three quarters square, depending which side of the world you're in. And then I've taken another piece of cardstock, and I've got the inside is just ever so slightly bigger, um, so that when you fold it, it's, it's one inch bigger, so that I can do a half inch fold here and a half inch fold here, and that will make the dome when we put it on the front of our card. I've also got a five and three quarter inch piece ah oh, ben what's the matter i've made a mistake what what have you done i've made a boob have you I'm what, do oh, what? I'm, um boo -boo. um a boo boo yes. yes i'm going to start again oh oh i've just realized what i've done and that's because i was rushing i'm going to get another piece of card and explain to you because actually i've led you up the garden path there a little bit because so the thing that you would absolutely do is your square card base that's correct right this next piece i'm going to show you again and we'll do it live because then you'll really be able to see what I'm talking about. So, if you've got a five and a half inch square card or a five and three quarter card, what you need is the square front plus and half an inch plus a half an inch. So you need to put an extra inch on to make that work. So an inch, two inches. So I'm going to cut my piece of card to the right height, which for me with my A4 card is five and three quarters. If you're in the USA, five and a half. So that's the right height, and I'll just show you that on my card base. Here is my folded card base. That piece of card is exactly the same height. Okay. And then what I need is some space for the card to bow, and then some lugs to glue it. So if I've got a five and three quarter piece, and I need a half an inch either side for my lugs, that's another inch, which is six and three, six and three quarters, quarters, or six and a half if you're in the USA. Yes. And then an inch to bow it up from the card is another inch okay. so that'll be seven three quarters, quarters in the uk seven and a half in the usa so i did a half, an inch too few on my bit that i had cut and scored previously so that's going in the bin as best laid plans so i'm going now to seven and three quarters there we go and remember that's seven and a half if you're in, in the US. usa uh -huh. and i'm going to trim that down then what I'm going to do, and if you've got a crafter's companion guillotine, then you've got your scoreboard already there, haven't you? I'm going to score one in, uh, half an inch, I beg your pardon, from the side. So I'm lining up on my six inch mark there, and I can see there's five and a half, mm -hmm. score down. So there's my half an inch lug. Turn my piece of card round, do exactly the same here. It's on my six inch line. There's my half inch, which is two marks in, score down. There we go. And we've got that piece prepared now. It was good to see it live. And prepared correctly. So just to reiterate, five and a half inches and seven and a half, half an inch score at either side, or five and three quarter inches, seven and three quarters, half an inch from either side, and it's going to work. Okay, to make it quick and easy. So once I've got that done, I'm then going to take my die 
and I'm going to place it in the centre of that aperture. Now you can get your pencil and ruler out if you want to, um, of course you can. Or you can do as I'm going to do and eyeball it. So I'm putting that to go through my Gemini machine. This will go through a junior as well, actually, if you do it this way. So you can use your junior machine for these concept cards too, if you've got a junior at home. What size are the dies, Jane is asking? So these, let me let me tell you. Oh, I'd this ask before you die is five and a quarter by five. Okay. So it'll work on your half fold US letter and your half fold A4 very easily. Okay, so we're just eyeballing that in the centre there or thereabouts it doesn't have to be perfect if you're a, if you're a perfection person you can get your pencil and ruler out of course you can and then what I do is I hold it still with my repositionable tape Ben and I hold it still on the pieces that are going to pop out so that I don't tear and ruin the outside of my card that's going to be on show uh -huh. so just hold it still with your repositionable tape and because the concept card really needs that sentiment to be nice and straight, I do use quite a bit of repositionable tape. Then put your sandwich together and run it through the machine. Lots of lovely comments already coming in through uh, the socials about this collection. Kaz saying, Sharon Callis, super talented. Her designs are amazing. Uh, make sure you send in uh, all those lovely comments later on because as I say, Sharon will be, well not here, she'll be with us via the power of zoom um, for the show later on lots of lovely samples says adriana love the dome cards says patty and uh, vivian saying i'm really liking these cards um, i'm just searching for a porky tool but oh i found one there we go found one um, so now that this is run through the machine and i've taken the plates out we can have a look and see what's happened so all i do is remove my repositionable tape and i like to just do that gently even though it's on the wasted bit. I like to get it all off my die straight away. Okay. If you don't, then you can use a little bit of stick away and that gets any sticky residue for you. If you're wondering how to clean the back of your die, you know, when you've been sticking it down with lots of sticky tape, after a number, like, you know, 20 or 30 times later, you think, I just want to clean that die. Just get some of your stick away. That'll make it nice and clean for you. There we go. And then one little extra piece here. I don't know how I would do this without nails, Ben, honestly. <laughs> there we go. Right, so now I can remove the die. So I'm just going to turn it over before I do that. Uh -huh. And actually you can see, look, the pieces are just falling yeah. out. And all of the perforation there falling out. The quality of these is exceptional because the pieces will come away very, very cleanly for you. Just be careful when you're removing those two outside pieces around the word oh, yes. because you could pull not because the die hasn't cut but because it just all gets interlinked a little bit just remove that carefully and then once you've done that any of these little landlocked pieces just give them a little nudge with your porky tool and then it's done so that is how quick and easy um, and fabulous that is a little landlocked piece there in the care and that is how quick and easy Bad. that is and i think you'll agree even just color on color torn on torn white on white if you want to do a lovely clean card looks gorgeous now i'm just going to get a darker piece to put behind so that you can see it properly there we go and now we're going to get our little stamping platform and our daffodils of course yes because you've got the little stamps of the little bit at the top and the bottom haven't you yeah so we've got out now which one goes where let me work this out that daffodil thinking of you that's like that. Oh, I need to work it out. Then. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Bit of a puzzle. Krypton factor. Krypton, that's that one. So that's the bottom one. So that's correct. So that's going to go here, I believe. Is just that, just hmm. whilst you're placing them on, uh, yeah. there's lots of love coming in. Uh, Patricia's saying the collection, super pretty. Set is fabulous, says Alison. Um, Sarah is saying what a lot of amazing ideas and Christine Mahoney these cards are amazing the dies are beautiful um, and thank you Mealy says good morning <coughs> Leanne and Ben and all of the CCTV family you guys are incredible for putting these out of these world products and prices uh, together are we there yeah. Oh, good. Day. Yeah. Thank you for filling, Ben. So when you get when you get your little stamps out, do as I've done here. So you see, I twiddled them around a little bit, and this is the bit that's going to stick to the platform. This is the side that you're going to ink up. Just lie it down and see if that's the correct place to see if you're stamping it and thinking, oh, I got it in the wrong one. And I can see that's perfect there. So I know now that that is the correct stamp for the correct area. So I can pick that up 
and I can ink it up and then stamp it down. And because I'm using one of our little stamping platforms, what I can do is really eyeball it in position. And I like the small four by four one for this. Um, and I know we've got, or we had last week, I don't know whether we still have on the yeah, website, we a really good deal on the three stamping three platforms. Mm. So if you've got that deal, I think the deal might still be there, you know, Ben. Yeah, it's, um, it's the four by four, six by six, yeah. and the eight by eight with the magnetic base, isn't it? Yes. Mm. And this is an example of when the four by four one is really useful because I'm working on it and I needed to eyeball it. And now I can see right over the top where I'm going to get that perfectly positioned. I can stamp that down and it's perfect, ah. exactly where it needs to be. So that's why the four by four platform is really really good and useful ben Ooh, it is uh, part of the three for two as well apparently uh which is good as i said we've got three for two deals on uh tools on adhesives on cardstock so yeah have a look on our uh, website and you should be able to pick that up super handy if you're new to stamping if you've fallen out of love with stamping as well the these tools are really there to help make life um nice and simple for you i'm um, talking about tools as well there's a question about the uh guillotine uh ben could you ask the Anne? Uh, the guillotine that she was using was the small one. I think you used the large one. I you? used the large one because yes. I was cutting a full sheet of cardstock down to a concept card, so I needed the extending ruler. So I used the large one. Uh, the small one is available on Cartload later on um, as well. Uh, Linda just saying, do you need to make an envelope box to mail these cards? Yes, I would. Mm. I would use an envelope box. But I mean, if you want to do a flat card, because you don't, you know, in the pose, don't forget this concept mm -hmm. was a flat card. So you can use them as a gorgeous topper and just do a flat envelope if you want to. Yep. But if you want to post the dimensional cards, then yes, I would make an envelope box to do that. And just whilst we're watching you do this, here's a question from Karen who says, how do you use the stamping platform without the base? I use mine and never managed to get the, um, the stamp correct. So I think what you have to do, so a good a, a tip from me is to get right over the top. So okay. if I put that back on there yeah. and I was stamping this again, is to get right over the top. So I, I lean back a little bit because obviously you'll just see my head in the over, <laughs> overhead camera. So if you look at me straight on rather than overhead, what I do at home is when I do that is I'll get myself right over the top of it yeah. so that I'm looking directly in a straight line. If you went from my eyes to the stamp, it's a vertical line. And that allows you to get the positioning um, a little bit more accurate because if you do it from a sitting position, everything's offset a little bit. Yeah. So you need to get over the top of what you're working on. So that's by bringing it further towards you if you're sitting. So you can do that of getting up and getting over the top of it. And then I dare bet everything will be aligned perfectly. It'll be that one simple change is all you need. Good tip. Any more questions? Get those in, by the way. That's what we're here for. Right, so that's all ready now. Now, you can colour this in. I was going to colour, but do you know what? I'm not. I'm just going to show you how to put the card together. There's a coloured one there for you to see. So now to assemble this, I'm just going to use um, a tape pen. I would use a wet glue at home uh, because I just find it's for kinetic cards where people are going to be picking them up, looking at them, turning them around, opening and closing them. It's better to use a wet glue unless you're using a crafter's companion tape pen. If you're using a crafter's companion tape pen, you're OK, you can, because the glue is as strong as a wet glue, but it's dry. If you're not using ours, use a wet glue. So I've turned it over and now I'm going to fold in and burnish down my two lugs, my half inch lugs that I made. And then I'm going to run some tape pen down that. So I'm running a little line of tape pen down there. I then take my piece of cardstock, which is the same size as the front of my card, five and three quarters by five and three quarters or five and a half by five and a half if you're in the USA. I take that and I stick that lug to the back of that piece of card and give it a good rub. Then I do exactly the same on this side. Now what you can see now is my piece of card that I'm sticking it to is one inch shorter than the bit I've cut the die into and then I've got my half inch lug which is why I was redoing those measurements for you earlier. Okay. If I glue down now this little lug here but I bend that into the score line what that does is create the bow front I see so I pop my flat side of my card against the score line fold down the lug give that a little rub down and I've created my bow front for my card and then what I can do is stick that to a card base now you could stick this directly to the card base but what you end up seeing is all of those little lugs inside and I like to be tidy so I don't, I don't like to see any of the gluing going on in here. I like it to be nice and flat, yeah. which is why I stick it to a piece of card and then I stick it 
to a card base and that creates for that's you fab. your dome front so that's how that particular set of stamps and dies can create your dome fronted card for you and then of course when you decorate them up they look really really beautiful don't they ben and so many different ways you can use them that's just one concept you can be doing your gift boxes your flat toppers all sorts of things, your four easel cards, your real easel cards. Here's an easel with that same design. Look, thinking of you for three different cards there, all of them look very, very different. Absolutely right. And isn't it great, again, to have a, um, a product which gives you so much um, versatility. Just a quick question before we move on, things we were stamping. Sue was saying, can you ask Leanne if they are going to make magnetic bases for the smaller stamping platforms? Um, we haven't intended to and, I, and quite honestly I don't think we will and the reason for that is when you go smaller with the magnetic platform for the smaller bases mm. you re dramatically reduce the size of a piece of cardstock that you can use with that stamping base because it needs to be smaller and within the perimeter so you'd be stuck to little four by four pieces and then you've got to get your magnets on three by three two by two so it just becomes a little bit too small and fiddly for you so actually the four by four and the six by six are meant to be free flowing stamping platforms so that you can put them as you just see me do with those daffodils you can put them anywhere on a project but when you want to work on a full concept a bigger concept where you need to really have that precision then we need to give you that eight by eight full working space which is why the eight by eight has the magnetic for you so it gives you the flexibility depending on the project you're working on and one more question and i'll leave you to get ready for the next uh, demo leanne says carolyn can we use glitter paste on our stamps glitter paste actually directly on the stamp mm. i mean you can but i don't think it would make a very good impression um I, I mean, you can try it, you, you can, it's, not, it's not going to hurt it as long as you clean it afterwards, but I would say that a paste is too thick and gloopy and you won't get a nice, fine, crisp line. If you're wanting to get a different coloured line, I would be investing in um, our pigmenting pads maybe and some clear embossing powder. That'll give you a lovely coloured line. If you want to get that glittered outline, then use our sparkle markers um, and use them, painting them on and stamp with that, you'll get a nice sparkly line. Paste too gloopy, you'll lose a lot of definition. Thank you for uh, that. Loads of questions coming in, loads of comments as well. And that is what we're here for. Uh, Betty to saying on um, on the socials, well, I wasn't going to order anything today, but dot, 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 dot. I've heard that a lot of times over the course of this uh, Sweet 16th. Uh, Dawn says, great tips, Leanne. Thank you. Great tips, says Cathy. And uh, Shelley also saying, great tips, Leanne. Very new to stamping. That's what we're here for. Any more questions, get them in. Um, I just very quickly want to show you some of the other deals that we've got coming up for you later on as well uh, launch day we've got a selection of our uh, classic uh, pens <laughs> good job i got big hands hands like spades to show you all of these uh, this is the uh, six piece uh, set well actually you're going to get uh, 48 pens in total here i'll show you these in more detail a little bit later on not easy to do standing up uh, without me bench you're going to get in here your uh, basics you're going to get your hues uh, you're going to get your tints your tones your portrait earth your essentials and your neutral and don't forget with your classics you've got that fine nib on these and also uh, you've got your uh, your chisel nib on there as well for those bigger bolder strokes a really lovely collection of colors which we will look at in more detail uh, later on 41 pounds 55 today or 62 pounds and 19 pence if you're platinum uh, it's a 35 percent saving for everybody and then another 20 percent comes off if you're a platinum member double points right across the board for you as well and um, as we've been been chatting about uh, if it's cardstock that you're after as well uh, then take advantage of the deals this one again the Centura Pearl collection there's a hundred sheets here uh, this is slightly better than the uh, three for two collection uh, or three for two deals that we've got on our website should I say uh, you're gonna get in here baby blue uh, you're gonna get ten sheets of your baby pink you've got your lilac uh, mint lavender your black your ivory uh, pink mink uh, your platinum 
and your Christmas red as well. Uh, and again, the deal on that phenomenal £20.74 for platinum or £36.34 if you're shopping with us in the US. And of course, double points um, on all of the purchases as well. I can't believe that we're almost halfway through Wake Up Call already. Keep the comments coming, keep the questions coming through as well. Let us know what you're shopping for today. I'm always super excited to find out uh, what you've got in your basket. And it's nice to know that you're shopping uh, before the rest of the world gets up. Get those deals before the chaos ensues later on. Uh, we have our first winner of this show as well. Thank you for all the comments coming through. Uh, but selected at random for our winner in this show is... Was that a drum roll I heard in the gallery there? Or did someone fall off the chair? Oh, it was a drum roll. Um, well done on YouTube to Carrie Sykes. Congratulations, Carrie. Uh, you are our first winner today, and I'm going to draw you a uh, cork out of our vase here to see what prize you've won. Oh, you don't want that one. It hasn't got a thing on it. Uh, oh, hang on. Let's have a look. Number 78 is your, uh, your winning cork. Let me write your name down here, Carrie, and we'll find out what your prize is going to be. Uh, you have won uh, 3D embossing folder so congratulations to you uh, to claim your prize you need to email us details coming up at the bottom of your screen prizes at crafterscompanion.com and we will put your cork carry into our uh, champagne bucket you'll be drinking champagne if you win the prize on sunday won't you i tell you what we're giving away a gemini pro can you believe it with all of those goodies as well somebody will be winning that prize on our wrap-up show on sunday but let me add you to our little walk of fame here 78 carrie sykes congratulations you are in with a shout of winning that pro right halfway through a uh, good chance to give you time to check out your baskets right now so if you've got stuff in those carts in those baskets get them checked out and we will come back with more we're gonna have a look at that shinwazari collection on the best price yet in just a few moments time it's our sweet 16 and you're invited to join our blooming brilliant birthday celebrations it's a special birthday for crafters companion and we're absolutely fizzing with excitement we can't wait to celebrate with you from the 11th to the 24th of October, we have got sensational new launches, amazing offers and delicious crafty surprises coming your way. You're in for a real treat on Crafters TV when a party is in full swing with live fun and amazing crafty treats every day. There's no need to RSVP, just visit the Crafters Companion website to find out more and get ready to celebrate our sweet 16th birthday. Make light work of intricate and delicate die cutting designs with the Pokey Tool from Crafters Companion. An absolute essential part of any paper crafters kit, its precise tip has been designed to release the tiniest pieces to reveal your finished results with absolute precision. And to make sure your finished project is perfect, each Pokey Tool has a rubber tip protector, so there's no risk of damaging your die cutting design or yourself. The Crafter's Companion Pokey Tool is such an essential craft item, we've included two in each set, so you'll never be without one. So get your Pokey Tools while you can, check out our Crafter's Companion website and stock up. out your baskets we are uh, halfway through wake up call so um plenty more chances to shop if you have just joined us a very good morning welcome along lots more to show you uh, we've um, already had a look at our brand new launch which is coming up at three o'clock this afternoon with sharon callis uh, 10 o'clock east coast seven o'clock west coast uh, but after that of course it is a three hour cartload don't normally do them on a thursday um sorry on a tuesday we normally do them on a thursday not on a tuesday but we're doing one today because sarah's obviously uh, very busy she's doing a bit of dancing and stuff like that apparently uh, so we've got a three hour cartload with Sarah coming up later on and in that show you are going to see some amazing deals. Um, one of those deals we're going to have a look at now, best priced yet on this Chinoiserie collection, saving 60%. Uh, it's £24 if you're a Platinum member, uh, $29.60 if you're shopping with us in the US. Um, if you love um, sort of beautiful oriental themes, uh, there's oriental gardens, you're going to absolutely love this collection. The frame on its own is worth £20 or $25, so it's like you're getting the rest of the collection for, well, well, if you're Platinum, yeah, £5 or... 
I'm slow on the math today. <laughs> Thanks, George. $12. Engage brain, Ben. Engage brain. Um, this was such a huge collection at launch, wasn't it, Leanne? And, and the fact that we're doing it at this great price today, I'm sure if uh, people haven't got it, they're going to snap it up today. And I would be snapping it up, Ben, because it's a fantastic price, but an absolutely beautiful collection of products. Yeah. This entire collection is worth it for this one thing that I'm showing you. Um, is worth it for that one die yep. because this is a really beautiful beautiful die which can be used not just with chinoiserie but with many different looks and feels and you can use your gilding waxes make it look very vintage you can make it look masculine do it in craft card you can make it look pretty for a wedding card with a white card with glitter on top so many different ways you can use that and it's going to look exquisite um, so that is a really good size die and I think that's five by seven I'm checking this out because it is it's a five by seven creator card die. It's not even a six by four one. So it makes a statement, Ben. It's a really good size. It's worth it just for that. It's gorgeous. You've then also gotten here. Wow. I love colouring these. Mm. Are the lovebirds. They're absolutely gorgeous. And you can you can do these as if they were parrots and that colour theme if you want to. You can do them as if they were cockatoo. You can do them in lovebird colour, lovebird colours. Whatever colour pen you've got at home, you can colour these and it's going to look gorgeous. Sat on that cherry blossom, of course, because it's in the chinoiserie style. Absolutely beautiful. You've then got um, what I'm going to be demonstrating with this fantastic pagoda. I absolutely love it. It's like a temple, isn't it? It is. And then you've got the lanterns in there. You've got your lotus flower um, and really beautiful sentiments too a gorgeous set to use we've also included some of these fab little 3d toppers um, so you're going to get them in the kit they're great for stamping when you've stamped a card or when you've used your frame you just want to pop a little sentiment on there then you can use those and they'll work with your ink pads too if you want to ink a background and then use one of these you don't have to have the matching papers they've been designed very very well and then you've got a really gorgeous embossing folder with that fabulous floral background just really pretty and again this goes um, hand in hand for me with the comments we made about the um, the frame at the beginning yeah. because this is just a beautiful floral folder nothing in that says oriental style whatsoever so you can be using this in your wedding cards and your floral cards just every day it's a beautiful floral design it's going to be a staple in your stash you've then got the right way up Leanne Yes, that's the right way up. There we go. You've then got our fabulous lanterns uh, that you can see there, and that's a stamp and die set. So that stamp and die set will let you stamp the uh, lantern and then cut it out. Now, the real crucial thing here is we've given you those cut dies in two halves, which means you can cut out a full lantern if you want to, yeah. or you can place the lantern on the side of a card and use them as an edgeable and have those lanterns cascading down um, if that's what you want to do, use them in a different way with a different concept. So each one of the lanterns, you can see the dies are in half, which allows you to use it as a full cutout or as an edgeable design, if that's what you'd like to do. And again, nothing particularly oriental about those. Beautiful lanterns. I'd be using them for summer cards, for lovely wedding cards, for invitations. Just I'd be using them all the time. They're beautiful and going to be very, very usable. You've then got, finally, this fabulous little frame um, and stamp set where you can see you've got that beautiful floral frame. You've got the die to cut it out, so you've got that beautiful wreath almost floral wreath with little sentiments inside and you can see here the sentiment is bloom where you are planted and may your day be beautiful may every day be beautiful so lovely sentiments mm. and a beautiful floral wreath again not necessarily in an oriental style yeah absolutely so right. it just depends how you color it how you use it what project you're working on so in terms of having a great collection with lots of versatility across lots of different things you want to make during the year then this collection i think has it all for a very very reasonable price absolutely i mean more than reasonable right best price we've ever done that collection for lots of you as well already commenting uh, about it um if you want to get in nice and early grab it this morning i mean 24 pounds or 29 dollars 60 uh, that frame die alone as we said you take that into account that's pretty much if you're planting them the price of the bundle right there and then it's almost like you're getting everything else for free which is just phenomenal love the um detailing that you've got in the dies and the stamps and like leanne's been saying the fact that you've got so much 
as far as usability is concerned there, that um, uh, read stamp and die set, uh, that create a card die that you've got there as well, you're going to be using outside of this collection as well. So it's not like a, um, a one trick pony. Um, I love the Shinoiserie collection, says Hadassah. That die is beautiful, uh, but the lovebirds are adorable. And Christine Bird, talking of birds, uh, says, I don't have the Shinoiserie collection, but it looks fab. If you don't have this collection today, you must, must, must jump in and grab it. And if the value for money alone isn't good enough for you and you want to see perhaps what this is going to look like when you uh, create some gorgeous cards, um, Leanne has got some uh, finished projects over the other side of the studio just to give you a bit of an idea of the kind of things that you can create with this collection because there's a whole host uh, of beautiful cards that she's about to show you um, right now. Let's have a little look through the, uh, the cards that Leanne's got. So I absolutely adore these and I wanted to show you very quickly um, just some of the gorgeous inspiration, some of the things you're going to be able to create with the uh, stamps and dies and uh, folders etc that you've got in that collection. These are all using that little bundle that you've got there. Look how brilliant when you pair that brilliant temple with those um, gorgeous lanterns. lanterns yeah. Look at the lovebirds but being coloured as uh, parrots this time. So yeah. look, I've, I've, there's a name, I can't remember. I'm sure what? you... You feather, you feather friends will know. Is it macaws? Is it a macaw? No, macaws are red, aren't they? I don't know. Uh, That's what I mean. Oh. So look at this. This I have to show you. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This particular die set and stamp set. And look, when you do the oh, pop out and you've amazing. got that little um, swinging in the centre there with that wreath, it looks absolutely gorgeous, doesn't it? Yeah. It's really lovely, Ben. Um, so gorgeous different creations that you can do with them. And, oh, I'll close that up in a minute. You can see there are those lovely lanterns that we've got there. We've got that brilliant um, temple again, and then your floral wreath. And the fold has been used in the background of some of these. So many different things you can do, and every single one of them's going to look very, very different. Uh, <coughs> lots of you, oh, uh, parakeet for the name of the bird. Parakeet. Parakeet. What did we say? I said macaw or parrots. Oh, macaw, yes. Um, yes, macaw. no, parakeet, that's right. And do you know, I knew I knew the word because where my son lives in London, yes. parakeets are in his garden constantly. You're joking me. No, no, yeah, yeah. Parakeet. Par actual green parakeets. There's in Richmond Park in yeah. London, there are hundreds of them, parakeets. How so? Be I think they were released many, many years ago yeah. into the white, and then they've bred. And so there's a huge population of parakeets well, in I that did... part of London. I did not know that. Yeah. There you go. You, you, True story. You, you learn something new every day. Uh, Mandy Doodlehand saying, Ben, uh, can I hear Ben giggling in the background? I haven't been giggling. I think I've been very well behaved so far today. I might have been giggling a little bit earlier on when um, Leanne kept saying lugs uh, because I'd never heard the tabs called lugs before. And lugs makes me laugh because I always think of lugs as your ears. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was giggling then, but that was about 20 minutes ago. So no, <laughs> I'm being very serious. You'd never catch me giggling along in the background. Oh, never, I would never expect it, Ben. Never, no, very serious yes. man. So I've inked up my temple um, and I'm using my little platform again because I've got a small piece of cardstock that I want to stamp it onto. And I just wanted to stamp that to show you the quality. And that's using our alcohol-proof finesse ink pad. I just wanted to show you the absolute quality of the line work and of the stamp that you're getting here. It really is beautiful all the way down to this tiny, tiny, tiny detail that's the quality of the product mm. you're getting in this collection ben it's phenomenal i've started to color in so poof quick oh that quick you almost didn't magic. see it as if by magic um and i would continue to color in this lovely temple in a blue and gold theme so i'm using my classiques here um and you'll have seen us do this many times before so i'm not going to bore you doing it because you'll have watched on color me happy i'm sure but i would just be using a difference between dark and light getting some dimension in there, then blending it in um, and getting some shade you can see there and just working up on that beautiful blue and yellow temple. And when it's finished, wow. this is what it's going to look like. I've then taken uh, just one of our Harmony Water Reactive ink pads in, in the lemon tonic and I've got, actually this might be straw bale or honey pot. Honey pot. Honey pot. It's, yeah. the, it's the darkest one. Honey pot all around the outside just to give it that lovely glow. And then I'm going to start putting my card together. So to pop the card together, what I've done is I've created a gate fold, a fold back, uh, not a gate fold, a fold back. So, you know, you, you score it in half, you score the front in half, fold it back, and you've got that. And I've done exactly the same again, just with a smaller piece of card. And okay. then what I'm going to do is just rotate that like that. 
to make my concept card uh -huh. here. And when it's finished, this is what it's going to look like. Oh, fabulous. So you can see how that works. So those are the two pieces that you need, and then that's how we assemble. Yes. And I'm going to assemble just with my, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Tape pen. Oh, that's yes. That's the word I'm looking for. You could use your Kalal All Purpose. I would, in fact, be at home because I'm sticking scrapbook paper to a card paste. I would be using my Kalal All Purpose glue. For speed, I'm just going to do this today. Uh, Dee says, yes, Leanne, I also li <laughs> live near Richmond Park and have parakeets flying around uh, they call them the parakeets of london oh that makes sense doesn't it really it does make sense because yeah. they're in london and they're parakeets, they're parakeets. yeah mm -hmm. um yeah because when when i was down at my son's he was like look ma'am the parakeets are in the garden and i was like what? parakeets but literally had four parakeets eating all the bird food in the garden I was amazed. It's beautiful to see. Absolutely beautiful. Alison says, the parakeets in London were the highlight of my last trip to London, Leanne. So beautiful. And they come and sit on your hands. Yeah. They're, they're, they're so they're quite tame. Fr yeah, they're friendly. Mm -hmm. So when you go out in the garden, like when you go out into Peter's garden and they're there, yeah. you know, like birds would normally scoot no, off. Scoot off, No, they? they just look at you. You can go up and put more food on the table. And huh. then they're just there looking at you. It's brilliant. It's absolutely fabulous. I can't even tell you. Well, next time I go to London, the Richmond Park area. I'm going to. I'm going to look out for the parakeets. And when I see him, I will say that Leanne told me that. I, n I never knew that. When when did they release them then? Like what? Oh, I think it was Hundreds back in, like in the Victorian. Oh, okay. yeah, like, so like literally a... ages and ages and ages ago. Well, I never did. Mm -hmm. I always feel like I learn. I learn something new here uh, every day, and I didn't expect to be learning that uh, this morning. Um, Shelley just saying, I might have to order this collection. I already have the paper. Uh, it would go with beautifully. And Gillian says, I nipped out for four items, but ended up filling my basket. Seems like my shopping tricks end up the same as my shopping with Crafter's Companion. Um, and just whilst you're sticking that, Sue's just asked, uh, Leanne, on the wreath pop-out card, does the pop-out centre always protrude from the outer edge of the card? Yes. Mm. Yes, it does. Yes, absolutely it does. So there you go. You see, I've stuck that in place there now and we've got the concept going and then I'm just going to continue decorating, Ben. So you've, you've got, you know, lots and lots of possibilities with these and I really like this concept card because it's a little bit like a Z card but with a twist mm. because you've got that central decorative panel on the front as well. And then I've got two pieces here. And I'm, this, is, this is actually the chinoiserie paper pad that I'm using. Um, my tape pen's run out. A new one. Um, this is the chinoiserie paper pad that I'm using, but this could be any paper pad you've got at home. It doesn't have to be in this style. It could be done in pretty pinks, it could be done in lilacs, it could be done with butterflies. Um, this particular stamp and this particular style, in fact, all of the products in this bundle do not have to be done in an oriental theme if you don't want to. They yeah. can be done um, with any colour palette that you've got at home, with anything you've got that you want to use. So I'm going to 3D that up. So let's use some 3D glue gel for that. Well, Penguins88888 uh, says, lovely card. The temple is magnificent, says Gillian uh, Grady. It is, isn't it? And the, the, the artwork, the detail that you've got in these stamps is, is simply amazing. Uh, Shelley also saying, amazing, Leanne. Uh, nice, love the use of the ribbon, says Mary. I caught a sight of that ribbon as yeah. well, which is rather And nice. I haven't stuck it on this one, just because I'll come back no. to the other one and show you. So a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. I think that is a wonderful inspirational sentiment maybe for somebody heading off to university yes. take or the first step. whatever it is take that first step mm. and be confident as you go forward so there we go and if we scoot to the one that i was uh, copying you can see that we've got that together there now it looks absolutely beautiful and this is the ribbon use that we were talking about isn't it so just to show you oh, how, yes. that, how i would have done that that's just a piece of uh, like hessian and then with a little piece of gold twine just tie a knot before you glue it down. Let me just show you there. Tie a knot and then with that and that, tie it twice, glue it behind there, glue it behind there, onto your piece of cardstock and then that's what you get. Fab. That's really stunning. 
Um, you're going to have to vote on your uh, demo of the show very <coughs> shortly indeed. We've got about half an hour remaining. Uh, that Chinoiserie collection, though, I have a feeling it will not be hanging about, particularly as we've uh, specifically picked it out to give you a little bit of a sneaky peek of during Wake Up Call. £24 platinum or $29.60 um, is the deal on this. It's the best price we've done the collection for. And, of course, you're going to be receiving your double points on it too. Um, it will be back later on. Uh, on our cartload with Sarah. Three hour extravaganza, uh, but how much of the stock will be left? Um, probably not much, judging by the cartload that we had last Thursday. And also on cartload, we're going to be bringing you something that you've not seen before, and that doesn't happen that often, does it, on a cartload show? Uh, we're going to be bringing you our, um, our vellum insert pads. I saw these briefly on the um, HSM preview show that we did uh, a little while back, um, and I really love the idea of these. We've got them in um, 4x6 and 5x7 size. Uh, and we've also got them um, in like an everyday version for you. So with like your everyday sentiments, uh, but then you've got some Christmas sentiments as well. Um, this is the four by six in the um, everyday greetings. What I love about this is like just popping these into the uh, inside of your cards gives your card that little bit more of an expensive feel, a little bit more of a finished touch. And you can see with all of these, you've got uh, some lovely foiling on them. Uh, you've got some beautiful sentiments as well. So your everyday gives you sentiments, things like um, all my love, with love on your special day to a special friend with love I'm thinking that these would be absolutely brilliant from birthdays through to weddings through to anniversaries uh, and then you've got some just with that beautiful um, a black colour, you've got the font, is absolutely stunning. I love the, um, the corners that you've got going on there too. Things like uh, just a little note to let you know I'm thinking about you. So when it is every day, it, it really, really is from just a note cards to birthdays to anniversaries to weddings, uh, you are really covered off. And again, if you want to use those as kind of like the focal point of your card as well, there's no reason why you can't cut those in half uh, and then use the actual sentiment itself as the focal point for the front of your card. Um, so so we've also got uh, your everyday in the five by seven. Uh, again, this is called your good wishes. Details flashing up on the screen for you now. Um, you're going to get uh, 24 sheets in total. And again, some really nice sentiments. I love that one there. I, well, A, I love the font. I love that sort of floral bouquet. But look, I'm so proud of you. How nice just to send somebody a card with a beautiful sentiment like that inside. You've got best wishes, uh, special friend. May all of your dreams come true. Um, with love on your birthday to a dear friend. And again you've got that selection of the um, beautiful fonts and that gorgeous foiling in there as well how lovely is that uh, with that sort of um, rose wreath going on love always again 24 sheets in there different sentiments for all occasions if however you are sort of going down the festive theme and Christmas is very much on your mind now someone will jump out and tell me how many days it is to go because it will not be many uh, you might want to jump in and grab the, um, the more sort of Christmas focus inserts that we've got so again we've got them in the four by six size. Uh, this one is called a Christmas tale. Um, oh, hang on a minute. That one's not been opened up. I'm just going to have to I'll get told off by John now. Hang on. I just got to show you inside here. Um, so look inside. Oh, it's on the other side as well. <laughs> this is riveting TV, isn't it? Watching me unstick the pads. Um, here we go. Right. So inside here. Thank you, Georgina. Thank you so much. Uh, again, you've got um, beautiful Christmas messages, beautiful gold falling on these as well, and a selection. So with love at Christmas, Merry Christmas. Love that one. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. But as I said, the great thing there, I mean, look at that one. Um, with lots of love at Christmas, with that beautiful uh, sort of holly wreath going on, that, simply cut that in half, stick that on the front of your card, a few embellishments, beautiful. You've got a, a finished card there, done and dusted. So what I would say with these is, you've got a whole choice of different sentiments different ideas but don't just think about your inserts as being inserts I know that sounds a bit backwards um, but there's lots and lots of different things that you can do may this Christmas be filled with happiness and all that you do and may this joy continue the whole year through wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year if you want to go slightly larger uh, we've got these available for you as well in the um, the five by seven this one is called your Yuletide Memories. Again, 24 sheets um, in total um, in a mixture of different fonts, some with that beautiful foiling on as well. Um, and again, lovely sentiments. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. From our family to yours with love. Peace at Christmas. Um, and even a bit of French in there for you too. Joie. I can never say this, even though I did A-level French. It's terrible. Joie. 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 
Noël. Joyeux. <laughs> Joyeux. Joyeux. Noël. Noël. Yes. Joyeux. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that episode of Friends, isn't it? <laughs> Have you seen the one? With, it's Joey, isn't it? And he's trying to learn French. Um, Jouet, yeah, anyway, happy Him. Christmas in French. Yeah. Uh, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Deck the halls. There's tons in there. Uh, and they're coming up on cartload for you, unbelievably, a little bit later on. Grab these whilst you can. The uh, 5x7, if you want to go for the um, Yuletide memories, is £7.99, $11.96 if you're platinum. And of course, double points as well. I shall practice my French pronunciation uh, by the time we get around to showing you those on that uh, cartload a little bit later on right uh, we have what 25 minutes to go we've still got to pick ourselves another winner uh, to win a fantastic prize we've also got to get you <laughs> Uh, to vote for your card of the show uh, there's still one more demo to do as well brian just saying these inserts might have to go on my list uh, and brenda saying pretty inserts uh, great price too absolutely and thank you to allison i did say somebody would tell us how long to go how many days till christmas 66 unbelievably 60 no way. yes way 66 behave. it's halloween next weekend isn't it behave halloween our neighbours have already started to put pressure on me because our neighbours are very um, sort of loving the Halloween. We don't normally do no, a lot we of don't Halloween do the down Halloween our way. Either. But the estate, loads of decorations that are my they? kids are going, oh, where are we putting the Halloween decorations? Well, no, we're not. Well, no, we're not. No. I mean, you can carve a pumpkin. We'll do that. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, but putting up decorations <laughs> like people decorate the front of their house for no, Christmas. No, I can't be bothered because then they've all got to come down ready for Christmas and I just can't be bothered. Yeah. Do yeah. I sound like a proper Grinchy bar no. bug? Maybe a little, I mean, a little bit maybe a little bit, but I, I, I totally get it. I'll yeah. say, Leanne says, Yeah, you can't have Halloween decorations. Yeah, this just year. tell them I said, I will, I'll tell them. Yeah, I do because it's, I mean, I, I know it does look when I walk past other people's houses, however, and I see it, I feel, Oh, that's lovely because I feel they've done it for me. Mm. So, here's the thing this is my this is my grinchy reasoning for not decorating the outside of my house for Halloween for any time. Oh, any time because I'm not, I can't see it because I'm in the house. Ah, well, that is a bit, that's a bit grinchy. And though. so I'm doing it for everybody else walking past. Yeah. Which, you know, that's lovely. But, but then. Do the rest of your neighbours at Christmas time decorate though? Well, some do. And then I look out my window and I'm like, oh, that looks lovely. But they can't see it because they're in their house. So then I feel pressure. Should I do it so they can see mine looking out the window? Because I'm looking at theirs looking lovely. I think, yeah. well, that's your problem, Pet. Because. But do you not feel bad that they're probably looking out the window going, oh, we've got our nice lights up. And the other people at the other side of the road are looking out the window going, oh, our, nights are, uh, our, our lights are nice. And they're looking at you going, oh, no, that's a bit miserable. That's on them, not me. Oh. Though, so they wanted to do that. And I appreciate it. It looks lovely. Yeah. But I, ca I can't. I can't. I Oh, well, I just wanted to say and clarify from my point of view, Halloween decorations, maybe no, but I'm not, I'm not that grinchy. At Christmas time, we put the, we put the However, up. this year, we might have to throw caution to the wind because our granddaughter's coming. Oh, uh, you've got with, to. With her mum and dad for Christmas this year. So I do think actually for yes. her, I am probably going to make Mr. C get the ladder out and full on bling the front of the house. Yeah, get one of those big, massive, inflatable snowmen as no, well. Father Christmas on his sleigh. No, no, there would be some classy, twinkly reindeer in my garden. <laughs> Mine too. Yeah. My kids every year, they want to get one of those massive, like 10 foot inflatable snowmen. And I'm up for it every year, but my wife, no. No, we're classier than that, Mr. M. We're classier than that. Um, I love it though. Anyway, uh, let's move on <laughs> yes. to another collection which is coming your way uh, later on in Cartload with Sarah. It's the three hour Cartload, don't forget. And this is a great collection considering the fact that you're gonna get uh, these amazing shaped word dies and the stencils to go with them as well. What I love about these is that they are going to create for you um, really interesting card shapes. Uh, you've got these as great kind of um, you know, stand out focal sentiments for your cards as well and the fact that you've got those stencils to go with them means uh, that you can actually uh, decorate these up as well which is just great you've got the little hearts to go with the love for example there's little balloons in there as well to go uh, with the other sentiments so lots of ways to be able to decorate these up uh, best price ever that we've done on these uh, 52 pounds or 61 dollars is the, uh, the the price for everybody platinum members pay 41 pounds 60 or 48 dollars 80 um, but Let's have a little look at these and see what sentiments that you get. 
They're gorgeous, these, Ben. Ever since we launched them, I've absolutely loved them. And I have used them myself personally several times because it just means that you can use, uh, make a really lovely card for somebody, convey a message, and it looks very different to anything else that's on the mantelpiece that they've got from anything, anybody else, even if they're hand-making cards. I've got a friend who actually makes these and sells them in craft fairs, mm. and they're the first thing to sell. Ow. First thing, these shaped cards with these particular dies off, off a off our shelf yeah. immediately because they're so different. So you can see here that we've got the fabulous word love and they make a real statement, don't they? I'm going to show you how to demonstrate with that one in a second. You've got your happy, you've got your thanks, you've got your friend, um, and you've got your hello. Is it me you're looking for? Always, Ben. You've then got these fabulous stencils to stencil over the background if that's what you want to do. So you can see you've got your beautiful love hearts there. You've got some foliage. And by the way, these stencils, just a fantastic size, doesn't mm -hmm. have to be just for these card fronts, can be for any project at home. Your foliage, your dots. Ah, oh, yes. And I'm just going to show you, I've got a friend card here where we've used the stencil with our Harmony Water Reactive so you can see how, what a fabulous result they make. Um, and then you've got your lovely little chevron, chevron. lines mm. and you've got your stars, of course. Uh, look at the stars and how they shine Time for you. you. Yeah. Uh, um, I used so to go to school with him. Did you really? Yeah. That's a very good claim to fame. Yeah, I was in the same class as his brother um, and Chris, Chris Martin, a Coldplay. Uh, he was the year above me at school. We were in the school orchestra together. <gasps> I played the violin, he played the trumpet. Oh, oh, you should get him to let you do a cameo. Well, do you know, do you know when you really we, wish that you've been better friends with somebody? Yes. At school, that's now, my the, biggest regret. Yeah, I can, under, I can understand that. My claim to fame oh. isn't probably as impressive as that. No. No, I live in the village. That's not a great claim to fame at all, is it? I, I live, live in the, the village. village that Prefab Sprout came from. Oh, I don't know the names of the guys in that band, but they did um, Albuquerque. Frog Jumping Frog yeah. Albuquerque. That one, yeah. So them, so that's not really a big thing for famous, isn't it? I mean, it's all right. Uh, and I think that's it. Uh, well, I mean, I think that was good. If I hadn't brought up the Coldplay thing, that would have been, that would have been okay. quite impressive. But yeah, I think I mean, Coldplay I fell, Trump. Fell, yeah. Prefab. Coldplay definitely Trump yeah. Prefab Sprout. Um, let us know your claim to fame. If you can beat Leanne's um, on the socials, let us know. Yeah, I do. I'm sure you won't have to try very hard. <laughs> um, and here's some examples here for you, where you can see where we've put little cards together. And we've used those lovely stencils, the hearts with the love. This has to be the happiest happy birthday card I've ever seen with all of that beautiful glitter card in there. Friends we've just looked at. And then, hello, where <laughs> we've done it as a shaker card, Ben. So you don't even have to use them as a shaped card base if you don't want to. You can cut them into something and make a shaped card if that's what you want to do. So really usable, really easy to do, really easy to use, very versatile. Move that out of the way and show you how to do it. Now I've got here a seven by four and a quarter card base. Um, and that is going to be the perfect size for my love die. I just want to point out to you here the cleverness, because we've got cut line, score line, cut line, score line, cut line, score line, cut line, score line, cut line. So all of that has been thought through for you. So all you do is take your shaped die, and it's the same for every single one of the words. Take your shaped die, put it against the fold of your card, tape it down, and you're good to go. It will do it all the work for you. Line up your, put, put your plates together, whiz it through the machine. And these will also work on your Gemini Junior. Because notice, I'm, you may have noticed, I didn't open the card out. I'm cutting through two pieces of card. I'm cutting on the fold through both the front and the back of the card at the same time. Because these dies have been made to be deeper to allow you to do that. So you can get through both layers of card and cut your concept out very, very quickly and easily. So remove my tape gently. There we go. Pop that in the bin. Pick up my die. Take away the waste. Uh -huh. And there is my shaped card base. That's brilliant. With all of my score lines and my cut lines in the correct place. So go the right way, Leanne. In the correct place to make that shaped card for you. That's, awesome. That's how quick and easy it is. Yeah. It's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. So then after I've done that, I've, I want to make this a little bit of a stepper card. So on the front of it, I'm going to put a little step. So what I've got here is a piece of card, which is one inch, one inch, 
three quarters of an inch and then fold it in that way so you've got mountain valley and then when I've taken my card base that I've cut out I've stuck that you can see the three quarter inch valley to the back of the love card and that's creating me a little stepper with that word love okay so they're all the bits that I've got ready I've then taken the additional die that comes in the collection and I've cut from with my first die the one that I cut my card base with I've cut a piece of pink card with that and then additional die comes in the collection for you does the word love as a matte and layer and I've cut that out for some pretty floral paper and then I'm just going to assemble that all up on the front of my card. Karen says, oh by the way I'm loving all of your claims to fame by the way we'll read those out. Karen says question, tell me what you think about me, no she doesn't say that, she says question please can you show us a close-up of the back of the card when cutting these words dies, I always get a ridge on the top. I always get a ridge on the top. There's the back. Hmm. Um, George can come as close as he would like. No ridge. Is that the misplacement of the die then? Maybe, maybe you've got the die a little bit too high or a little bit too low. Okay. So try and get the, the edge of the die. Try, so I, when I cut that on my folded card, I had, I'll do it from the front and I'll show you here. And then I'll turn it over so you can see the positioning. So if I put that in there so it's just cut. Yeah. And then I turn that over. Oh, I see. Can you see how the fold of the card is fitting? Yeah. Just under that cut edge. So you could line up your card like that. So if I get this isn't obviously big enough to cut, but you could put your die upside down if you're not confident doing it the way I did it. That's the good idea. And let's say this is the folded edge. Yeah. Put it up against there so you can see where it needs to be. Tape it down and cut it just your sandwich the opposite way so it's facing up. Um, well, hopefully that sorts out for you, you, Karen. Let us know um, how you get on. Um, lots of love coming in for this collection as well. Pammy, you're saying these shape card dies are my favourite. Easy and quick cards. Easy and quick, but they create something so stunning. And Cathy's just said, we had new neighbours moving across the street this summer. I made them a hello card <coughs> and they loved it. It's a great way to meet new neighbours. It is. Yes. And do you know what? I wouldn't have thought of using that as a new neighbour card. No. But I think that is a genius idea. Well done, Cathy. We love that a lot. Uh, and claims to fame then. Do these beat your prefab sprout? Maybe. Irene says, my good friend's dad is Mike from Breaking Bad. <gasps> I've never seen that show. Oh, you've never seen Breaking Bad? Oh, no. Ben, we can't be friends. Oh. You've never seen Breaking Bad? It's one of those shows that I was going to start watching and then it never got round to and then it got to the point where it seemed like there'd been too many series and I was too far behind to catch up. You need to just sit down with a box set at Christmas, Ben, and yep. get it done. Is Mike the main guy? No. No. Uh, Mike is the, the brother-in-law. Right. <gasps> Isn't he the brother-in-law? No, he's not. Yes, Mike is the hitman with the beaten up face. But then what? He's got like, it looks like he's had a fat, it looks like a boxer. Ah, uh, okay, like a broken yeah, nose. Yeah, he, he looks like, yeah. handsome, but yeah. Yeah. rugged. Rugged, rugged, that's a good way of describing it. Um, Breaking Bad, you've got to watch it bit. So literally, it's that good. My husband and I are currently going through the whole box again for the second time, the box set. It's How many good. episodes are there, though? Oh, Hundreds. lots. Ah, oh, yeah, lots. you see. Because there's five series. Yeah. So you've got to commit, but it's fantastic. I my, promise you it's fantastic. My problem is, is that I, I want to watch all of these new shows. It's like 24, for example, I've never seen. I got um, bored of that. But what, what happens is I, I go to, say, Netflix, for example, or one of the other streaming services to watch a new show. And then I go, like, th this is what's happened recently. Ah, oh, Only Fools and Horses. And then I end up watching all of the old TV shows from yesteryear and, and then I just get stuck in that sort of 80s, 90s era Rot. and I, I never get up to date. So that's what happens. Mm. Um, so I'm currently watching Only Fools and Horses again. I love Only Fools. I mean, I can't, I can't berate you for that because that is pretty flipping fabulous, isn't it? It is. As is Porridge um, and Open All Hours. Open All Hours, brilliant. Yeah. I don't Did you not, do you have not watched Porridge, Porridge Ben? Porridge, I, I want to say it was a bit before my time. <gasps> Maybe. No, I don't mean like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't mean like that. I think... Ooh. No, no. I don't mean it like that. It was just... Because Porridge was like the 70s, wasn't it? It only... might have been. 
<laughs> only fools. Yeah, no, but never mind. Only fools. Just... Anyway, Sue McGuire says, I was at school with Ralph Fiennes' sister. That's an amazing claim to fame. That is. Betty Gosler says, I have two famous cousins, Jesse James the bank robber and Mark Twain the author. Wow, that I must say, you all win. You all win when it comes to claims to fame, don't you, instead of... Um, uh, Prefab Sprout. Prefab Sprout. But, uh, but I'll tell you, I've got another one. Yeah. You know Little and Large? <gasps> yeah. Little and Large. Little is like a cousin four times removed. Sid Little. Sid Little. Yeah. I've met him a few times. I don't, that still doesn't beat any of them, does it? But really? it, 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 I quite like that, because I used to love Little and Large and Cannon and Ball back in the day. Oh, Jane, just ca rock on Tommy. Honestly. Yeah. Fantastic. Rock on Tommy. Rock on Tommy. Oh, if you're in the USA, you have no clue what no. we're talking about right but now. But you definitely need to look up Cannon and Ball and Little and Large on YouTube. Yes, you um, do. Just to finish on this little uh, vein, Joy, I think, trumps us all, who says, my mum used to live down the street from Frank Sinatra in Hoboken, New Jersey. Oh, you win. Yeah, game over. Yeah, game over, you win. Game over. Joy, you're the champion. Yeah, you are. Yeah. You are the champ. No, that was, that's, I've sang the wrong tune to the wrong song. Forget, forget it. Anyway. Um, <laughs> nice card. What, nice card, though. Look, with the, with the love and the little stepper. So I've just used a little bit of ribbon. I've done a little bit of matting and layering here. Used a little sentiment that comes in the collection. Remember, you've got your little sentiment stamps, too. Little butterfly embellishment. Bit of yellow card behind. And you've got a really pretty little card to send to somebody you want to send love to or somebody that you do love. Um, I love that. Uh, it is the best deal that we've done that collection for. If you want to pick it up right now, you can do £41.60 uh, or $48.80 if you are platinum. Double points, of course, as well. Grab that before this evening, before cartload, because you just know it is going to be uber chaotic later on. So grab the deals. You know there'll be limited stocks. You know there'll be sellouts as well. Uh, so get in there before the rest of the world uh, wakes up and uh, grabs those deals. We are almost at the end of the show uh, and lots to, t uh, to do before we do finish. I just want to, again, also just uh, put in your mind's eye uh, something later on, which you will see on Cartload, which Sarah will be raving about because this is our star buy. Um, it's the uh, Ditto tool and um, uh, tote bag. This is amazing for the fact that it's a great little uh, portable bit of kit to take all of your bits and pieces with you, but it also opens up into um, a nice sort of uh, desktop tidy for you as well so um, it's great to transport maybe if you're going out and about to um, craft with uh, friends for example it's nice and portable but then it opens up into this really really cool crafty workstation where you can see everything that you need so many different pockets in there as well uh, and the reason why this is the star buy today is basically um, you're going to pay for the tote and also you're going to get your uh, 36 sheets of your uh, your bright um, 8x8 textured cardstock but then on top of that that, all of the goodies that you're seeing in the front here normally we just put these in here to kind of show you how much uh, these items can hold you're going to get everything that you see in this tote for free so we're going to give you your tape pen um, you've got your precision snips included in there as well there's been so much chat about our scissors over the course of the sweet 16th birthday we are literally giving them away in this deal um, you've got your knife with replacement blades as well free of charge you've also got some of your low tech tape included in there too and uh, we are throwing in uh, your 3D Collal glue kit as well. So none of the items that I've just shown you are you paying for. That's why this is going to fire at the door. That's why it's our star, uh, star by deal. And that's why you need to jump in and grab it before cart load later on. It is uh, just, what, £40.98, $54.94. Or here's your platinum price. And remember, double points for you as well. Uh, we've got to crown a winner in just a few moments' time. Another person going to win some prizes. But before that, you need to crown a winner. Which was your favourite of Leanne's demos? Uh, let's remind us ourselves as to the amazing cards that she's made so this was number one but i don't think it deserves a vote really because i didn't finish it did i so i think we'll discount that ben oh we'll call it not in the running right unless i mean unless you really love it at home but honestly boring so <laughs> i mean a beautiful concept but i didn't finish it so there we go um, and then we've got number one number really one that really one number really I like one. That one really and one. number really two really two so really one yeah or really, really two. two. You've got about three minutes to get voting. Um, don't forget, 
with it being our Sweet 16's birthday event, it is double points for all of our Club Inspire members. If you're a member, you're taking advantage of this. If you're not yet a Club Inspire member, if you're new to us and you have not a clue what I'm talking about, here's a quick video which will hopefully put you in the picture. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Day lined up, but we've got uh, just under five minutes ago. And yes, Georgina, we are here at the winner's wall. Bring on the wall. Um, congratulations to our uh, first winner earlier on, Carrie Sykes. But more congratulations to our second winner on the show, simply for uh, commenting on uh, Facebook. Gloria, Gloria Papril. Congratulations, Gloria. You have won yourself a prize and you are going to go into the draw on Sunday to stand the chance of winning uh, a Gemini Pro. Can you believe we are giving one of these away? I can hardly believe it myself. Let's give you a uh, cork out of our little vase here. You have got number 70 all right so that is your um your prize 7070 uh, you've won yourself gloria a uh, set of sparkle pens so many congratulations to claim your prize all you need to do is uh, send us a little email to the address at the bottom of the screen uh, right there prizes at crafterscompanion.com and we'll get that prize out to you and there's your cork number 70 going into our champagne bucket uh, you're a step closer to winning that uh, Gemini Pro. And yes, Gloria, you do just need to go on the wall. Number 70, uh, Gloria, in my, well, not my best handwriting. It's not too bad. Uh, how did you spell your surname? P-A-P-P-R-I-L-L. -L. Congratulations, Gloria. And more chances for you to win. Uh, later on, two more winners during our show uh, with Sharon Callis. It's a launch day show. And in case you're wondering what's coming up, here's a quick little sneaky peek with Leanne. Absolutely adore this range and of course it's exactly as we looked at at the beginning where you've got that beautiful sentiment which um, is free flowing so it looks like it's floating in the card but is attached at the top and the bottom with beautiful complementary imagery. So you can see you can use these dies in many different concepts and that's what we're going to see here different ways you can use them so you can do your dome fronted cards we can do our easel cards and still have that die looking like it's three uh, free flowing in mm. there. We've got our diorama cards with a different sentiment using all of our pretty papers in there if we want to. Use it as a regular topper on a card. You don't have to use it as a concept if you don't want to. It just makes a beautiful statement for you. You can do more happier, more uh, larger diorama cards which really convey a message. I love this one using pretty papers and stopping the dome card a little early so you've got that lovely border down from the background there. And I think the one that has to win um, in terms of impressive concept from this collection would be this one where we've got that beautiful card and then when we open so it up clever. it makes such a statement in the centre there. I mean I think that is the winner winner for me when it comes to the concept. Beautiful colour palette there. You can use them with any papers that you've got at home and you're going to be able to make every single one of these different concepts with every single one of the dies in the collection. Absolutely. And we are very much looking forward to launching that officially in what, just over an hour and a half time, <coughs> three o'clock here in the UK, 10 o'clock East Coast, which is seven o'clock on the West Coast. And don't forget the lovely lady herself, Sharon Callis, will be joining us uh, via Zoom. So plenty more inspiration coming. And of course, how great that you've got the opportunity to get in touch and uh, ask Sharon any questions that you want about the collection. Right, we need to find out what has won the demo of the show. Was it really number one or really number two? I can tell you it was very, very close, but the winner by a 
Fly's eyelash? Yeah, Fly's eyelash. Number one. Oh, really number one. I do love that collection, I have to say. And if you do get that in your basket, you're going to be able to make so many different creations with all of the beautiful things in there, especially that big die. Um, so I would get it before the show tonight and then you know you've got it. Absolutely right. Uh, it's the best price we've done it for, 60% saving on that collection. And you know that that, uh, along with so many more products that we've got coming up for you, are going to fly out the door. We'll have limited stocks, we'll have sellouts. So you may as well jump in and grab. Now, Leanne, thank you so much. Uh, so you're off to you go and uh, check out your glorious hotel in Peterborough, right? Yeah, the Premier Inn. Yeah. And you'll be uh, over on Crate and Craft later on in case Yeah, tomorrow, in. all oh, day, tomorrow. in fact. All day tomorrow, it's me. So I'll see you there. Uh, look forward to that. I will see you back here in an hour and a half uh, with the lovely Sharon Callis. So make sure you check out your baskets. And for now, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you in a bit. Bye.